tension is palpable as this fight gets underway, and it'll be interesting to see how this matchup plays out. Definite striker on one side against another guy who can really do it all. And in those situations, normally the guy that's more well-rounded will be the one that will find success. I want to see how this plays out. Well, we talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. Just misses with the straight right. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. All right, so there's the only takedown. Pretty evident, DC, that he wants to get this fight to the ground, and he was certainly able to do so there. He felt like he had a massive advantage in the wrestling, and if he attempted takedowns, he would secure him. Let's see what he does from this position. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape, or maybe look for a Kimura here. And he's back up. Well, he's looking for that left hand. Just out of range, though, with it. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Ooh, head kick lands, and he's hurt. Look at the skip action that allows you to land that big knee. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. And a nice jab there, champ. The jab was a lost art in mixed martial arts. The guys have found it, and they are fighting behind it real well. Oh, and there he goes, working off that jab again. How's your jab? I mean, the jab's nice. I love throwing the jab. But you realize that as MMA evolves, guys will start to fight behind a very educated jab. It's just like boxing. The most thrown punch, and the first one you learn is a jab. Right. And in MMA, guys are starting to take that same approach because it is such an effective weapon. Two minutes have expired here in our opening round. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Oh, nice right hand. Oh, misses with the jab. Dig and kick. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Back and forth we go. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, nice jab there. He told us on Thursday he wanted to break this dude's nose. That is certainly a step in the right direction. Mission accomplished. Huh. You are very down there. And now by Anderson. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Oh, reversal here, DC. What a way to switch the position. Fantastic movement by the bottom fighter. Right, take it back, take it back. The Korean Superboy gets back up, back into his comfort zone. Well, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Just misses there with the left. Look at the control of the posture as that big knee lands. Oh, lands an elbow. Didn't open him up, but very well could have. Good punch lands. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great the record is on repeat. Wash and rinse over and over again. It's takedown after takedown. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is the opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. A lot of top pressure being applied here. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Nice straight punch. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Just misses with the left hook. Blocks the shot. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Oh, big left hand there. 
Round two next. We now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. Round two is upon us. Your thoughts on round one, champ? Round one was a very close round. Both guys had their moments. But nobody has really went out ahead in the race as we go into the second round. Oh, big punch land. He loaded up with that right hand, too. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand, jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit, finish him off with the up. Great action to get to that take down. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be trouble defensively. All right, well, he's got him softened up here. Anderson gets back up. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Well, you saw his reference in the tail to take, DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that jab. Oh, and he lands yet another strike to the body. Pinpoint placement right underneath the elbow. Ooh, big shot lands. Big leg kick lands. Oh, look at that jab. Snapped his head back. His jab gets to the target so fast, and he always brings his hands right back to his face. That jab is fast. Look at that jab. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Punch over the top. All right, single collar tie now. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Oh, that right hand is off point. Anderson's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swelling. Wild swing there. Oh, an obvious limp there. His leg hurting for certain. Straight punch land. All right, so he continues to land that jab. His opponent said he was ready for it, but doesn't appear. You're not ready until you're in there. You can watch all the film you want. You can spar as much as you want, but until you feel a guy with a fast jab like this, you don't understand the precision of that one. Connects with the right hand. Pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by the Korean Super Bowl. Well, any time you are in a ground-fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter, and he's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. Nice. Well, one got through. That kick was blocked. Whiffs on the right hand. Oh, land.
lands a vicious uppercut to the head. Beautiful uppercut. Shades of Mike Tyson on punch out back in the day. You couldn't take one of those uppercuts or you would go down. Mike take it down, cut. Take it down, cut. Over and over. He secures these takedowns. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. Well, he's got his back now. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here. Just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground. That's very important. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. Got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Oh, Ten God. minutes in the books. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. No problem. Help recover, relax, shake it off. Forget that last round. This round... All right, next round is now underway. DC, any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmakers did a fantastic job when they put these two in the octagon. So even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high-level mixed martial arts. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Joy gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can wrap. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Good stick. All right, he engages in the single double tie. Pseudo throw. Let's see if he can capitalize and lock up a sub. You got to try to find whether or not you're going to land. Round and pound here or if you're going to go to a submission. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on the ground. Over and over. These guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head, like, through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. The Korean Superboy gets up. He is back on the feet. Looked like he was in a submissive state on the ground. He worked hard there to get back to the feet. Oh, he's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Oh, such a natural jab, and there it is again as he gets the hand right to the target. I mean, right to the target, John. It's like the dude sitting there with a red target on his nose, just getting beat up, hitting bullseye after bullseye after bullseye. I love his ability to faint once and then throw that jab right behind it. It's nasty. Anderson's lower jaw is extremely swollen now, and he gets the takedown. Gets the takedown and falls right in the side control, exactly where he wants to be. Got his guard pass. All right, has the guard closed here. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. All right, half guard position here. We'll see what he can do with it. A lot of weapons at his disposal from this dominant position. Oh, man. I feel for a wrestler, this is the most dominant position in all of fighting because wrestlers love control. Right. And to have your upper body free and your leg able to hold your opponent in position, it is like striking gold. Build your posture, throw your punches, big damage, but then always control the far side underhook. This is a great position for a top fighter. There's the jab, there's another one. So the double jab is there by Anderson. The Korean Superboy gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Yeah, looks a little wobbly on his feet. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. That's how you finish your fight. Oh, straight right. Man, these guys are throwing back and forth. Nice loop and punch. 
And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Oh, good kicks. Another big takedown. Oh, and he gets the single leg takedown. Nice entry on that attempt. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact same. He hurt him. Nice strike. Trying to stay in this fight. Takedown defense holds up. Oh, and he tags him with the straight, beautifully placed there by Anderson. Unable to connect with the right hand there. Oh, how clean is that jab by Anderson? Blocks the shot. Nice punch lands over the top. Final seconds of round three. Nice sneaky head kick. Just misses with a left hook there. Stop, stop, stop. Take a deep breath and relax. Watch him look to finish this one. Put the pressure on this guy. All right, there's the horn, and what a round it was. DC take us through the replays. Punch after punch. He landed him at will. He went right at his opponent, got in his face, and showed this is my octagon. We are going to dance to the beat of my two. All right, so back-to-back -back entertaining Ready rounds. Fight. We'll see how it goes Ready. in this round. We'll see which corner sort of maximize those 60 seconds on the score. This is what happens when you get these very skilled, very evenly matched fighters coming together. Nobody has really taken a lead in this fight. Let's see who does it. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, big left hook there. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. And he landed the right hand there. Throwing that jab, no good. How about that shin? Well, he's always on the counterattack, but a nice leg kick there by the Korean Super Bowl. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Oh, what a fantastic strike. Wow! Dominant position here. He's got the full mount lot of Wow. Wow. Unbelievable. He got it. What a performance. Oh, absolutely one for the highlight reel right there. A tremendous kick to spell the end of the night for his opponent and for him, I should say. But just caught him flush, full force, beautiful extension on the kick. And the fight was really over as soon as that one made contact. I'm not even sure he was conscious when he hit the canvas. Outstanding performance here tonight. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 26 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout.